Hey guys, and welcome to my plant room. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rianne. And for today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about my plant wall. This is gonna be a very short video. I'm gonna go ahead and link you to all the information that you might need in the description box down below. Um, and let's talk about the plant wall. <laughs> so this is an area of the house that I wanted to put something on at some point. It's kind of a tall, skinny wall. I've kind of looked into artwork that I might like and just never really found anything that fit. Then a few weeks ago, one of my friends linked me to uh, this kind of modular plant wall thing um it was actually by a different brand i will link you to both below and i just love the idea but the little pockets that held the plants were very small and because our house gets a lot of light plants grow very well in it and i just knew that they would probably outgrow the smaller plant pockets pretty quickly so uh, me and my husband adam had a look online at maybe some different options that might fit our home a bit better and fit larger plants in uh, which is when we found these so i think we ordered four to start with just so we could see the colors and the sizes we do this a lot when we're buying things for our home if it's something we know we're going to want several of we might buy one in each size or just one of it so we can make sure that we're happy with it we don't have to like return eight of something they do come in two sizes and two colors and we just immediately fell in love with them so we then ordered the rest of them they are pretty easy to install uh, one thing i will say you're probably going to need is a drill and potentially a stud finder as well which we did use on this because part of the wall is drywall only and part does have studs in it so we wanted to make sure we were using the right fixtures for whatever it happened to be. The instructions booklet for each of them comes with a little template, paper template that you can cut out and hold up against the wall to make sure that you get your um, screws a good distance apart for the pot to attach to. So each pot takes two screws uh, that go into the wall either in a uh, drywall thing, what's it called, can't remember, or just the screw itself. And sometimes it can take a little kind of wiggling to get it on because these are ceramic, it kind of feels like it might not fit, but it typically actually does. It's just kind of like an awkward feeling of having ceramic or pushing ceramic down onto metal. It can feel like a little scary, but they do fit. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of the install. It's super easy, especially for me because Adam did it for me, um, but this is definitely something that most anybody could uh, probably handle, or you could just ask someone for help if you needed it. So because I've already shared this on Instagram, I have had a couple of frequent questions on it. One is from people asking um, how you, like how they're in there, like are the plants just in there with no drainage? They're not, they are all still in their nursery pots. Um, let me show you one. They've just had a water, so they are, there's a little bit of water left on there, but they're still all in their nursery pots. And then when I water them, I either will just Put a little bit in there while they're still on the wall or i will take them out if i want to give them a really good drench do that in the bathroom and then pop them back in after it's super easy unless you're basically like an expert waterer who never over waters i would definitely put them in nursery pots not just straight in there otherwise it's going to be hard if you over water them and they're not going to be able to drain if you do have any hanging plants just make sure that you're not getting any leaves caught when you're popping them in and speaking of watering that brings me on to the other question people had which was how do you water them um, I think probably what people didn't realize is that 
we obviously installed them all without the use of a ladder or anything so we can reach all of them so again like i said i can either just reach up with my watering can or i can take them out into the bathroom if i want to give them a good drench i do have a selection of plants in here right now there are two which are succulents which i am going to switch out eventually because they need a bit more sunlight this is more bright indirect i feel like typically succulents in my house at least do best when they have like scorching sunlight so i guess i'll just quickly show you the ones that you can see here and then i'll show you the rest uh, in a different clip this is a neon pothos down there is a little succulent which i'm going to uh, switch out this is a bird's nest fern a boston fern over there a spider plant this is string of pearls which again is a succulent so i am probably going to end up moving and then up above that i have the is it alligator fern i was going to say crocodile but i'm pretty sure it's alligator and then um, a smaller neon pothos, which I am propagating from the big boy down here. I think for me, obviously I love plants. I can sometimes go a little overboard, like with the propagation station and make way too many, or just be like, uh, I have these plants and I don't have a place for them. And that is something that I don't ever particularly want to do is to just have a lot of plants for the sake of it. I want them all to have a good spot and for it to make sense and for them to have a home. Uh, we don't typically like to have like a ton of clutter places or you know things on surfaces so i do try and make sure that everything either has like a nice plant stand or like there's a home on the wall or um you know i don't know so this is perfect for us because it means i get to have a lot of plants but they're out of the way and they are like their own feature and um i love it so like i said they will be linked and listed in the description box down below i will try and also list the plants in case you're interested i will also link you to the smaller kind that i uh, my friend showed me too because they are really cute and i think a good option if you had much smaller plants and a much smaller area perhaps with less sunlight so they're not gonna like grow so rapidly so if you guys have any other questions definitely let me know in the comments down below you can find more pictures of my plant wall and a ton of other stuff around my home over on my home Instagram account, which is yeoman.home. You can also follow my personal Instagram if you would like, which is Rianne underscore H-Y. So yeah, I'll go ahead and meet you in the comments. Try and help you out anymore if you would like me to. Uh, please do give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.